Hello my dear friends and welcome to my channel. My name is Barbara and today we're going to be going over Neptune in the third house. So this video is for you if you have this particular placement. If you're a cross watcher, welcome as well. Neptune in your natal chart is going to be the area where you guys do feel very clouded, blurry. It could be the area where you have illusions and delusions. You can even escape through your mind in this particular area. Now specifically for you guys with Neptune in the third house, the third house deals with your mind, your intellect, your communication. It deals with your siblings, it deals with local travel, your communities. It can also deal with technology as well because we do use technology for communication. So all of these areas might be areas that you guys don't necessarily see clearly. You guys might struggle with your communication, you guys might struggle to be heard or for people to understand what it is that you guys are saying. Sometimes when you have Neptune in a third house, you guys might speak in riddles. Now what I will say about this placement is you guys are definitely going to be psychic, intuitive, connected to the other side because Neptune already on its own is very spiritual, it's very metaphysical, it deals with the metaphysical planes. It's always kind of wandering off into that direction. It doesn't really want to interact with the current physical plane. It wants to be in the metaphysical planes out of body and typing into those psychic realms. So if you guys really wanted to train yourselves, you guys could definitely train yourselves to be psychic, intuitive, and really develop a strong intuitive muscle. This is one of the placements for psychics when you have Neptune in the third house. That might be claircognizant, even clairaudient actually with Neptune in the third house. Once again, it's all about strengthening that intuitive muscle and really going into a light version aspect, a healed version. That's really the whole thing here. We really, really want to integrate our lower wounding, the lower three chakras, the collective wounds, and whatever other wounds we may have. Because otherwise, if you're too psychically open and you're not integrated and you're not really rooted in your person, you can go into the shadow of the psychic gifts and abilities, maybe where you're being paranoid or you're just overthinking or like in certain situations, you're kind of not seeing them clearly. That's the whole thing with Neptune in the third house. Neptune in the third house is very, very similar to Mercury in the 12th, I would say. And it's also very, very similar to having Pisces in the third house. Overall, the divine version of this energy is those psychic gifts and abilities being connected to the other side. Very, very intuitive, very much ahead of your time. This might be into poetry, art. Now, what I will say also though, is wherever you guys have Neptune in your needle chart, you guys might have to work a little bit harder to ground in that particular area. So for you guys, when you have Neptune in the third house, you might find yourself escaping through the mind a lot of the time. When you guys don't want to be present in a situation or a conversation, boom, you escape through the mind. Sometimes when people see you out and about, you guys might not look like you're present. You guys might get told that maybe you guys look like you're in your own world a lot of the time because you are. For a person who has Neptune in the third house, the mind, the imagination, the other side, the other realms are way more colorful than whatever's going on down here. Honestly, when we look at the earth plane, it's very mundane. It's very much day to day. So the Neptune in the third house person, a lot of the time is going to be disconnecting from this and going into those higher planes and into those higher realms. So you guys might have to actively work at grounding because otherwise it might be a struggle for you guys to actually take your ideas. That's the whole thing here. You guys are going to have a lot of great ideas, a lot of great visions, art, dreams, poetry, anything that's romantic. It can be film, but it's like you could struggle to anchor it into this physical reality because you guys are spending a lot of time out of body or just thinking about it or envisioning it or imagining it. Keep in mind, okay, wherever you have Neptune in your natal chart. What I will say is if you guys master this particular area, you're manifesting left, right, and center. You think it and it happens. A lot of inner work actually has to take place for you guys to get to that point where you're thinking it and it actually happens. Otherwise, overall, there is a lag period on this earth plane, but you can increase the speed. Okay, You can shorten that lag period by being more grounded, by being more physically present. And what I always suggest for overall Neptunian energy, Piscean energy, 12th house energy is to basically figure out what that thing is that's like your guys' thing and focus focus on just that thing. So if your thing is poetry, focus on poetry, perfecting it, becoming very, very good at it because then you're taking basically the Virgo energy. You're pulling from the oppositional energy of perfection, of perfecting your craft. Once you guys have that energy basically contained, the Neptunian energy contained and it has a direction, this is how you guys become very fast at manifesting. That's what I would say is the divine version of this particular placement is you guys think something and it happens. You're manifesting left, right, and center. But at the same time, if you guys aren't there yet, at least the lag time is reduced. It's going to be a little bit shorter. Otherwise, if you're in the shadow of this, you're basically in your mind all the time, maybe even overthinking, maybe even not seeing things clearly in certain situations where you're going into the shadow of the crown, where maybe you guys might be going into paranoia. You really, really want to figure out a way to contain that energy and ground it into this physical plane and maybe spending time being out in nature, by water, basically anything that grounds you guys back down. Figuring out what that thing is for you guys, you know, that basically helps you guys come back into 
your bodies, okay? Come back out of the mind, out of the crown chakra, out of that overthinking energy and being physically present, whether that's hanging out with your friends, going on some kind of adventure, hiking. I mean, the world is your oyster, but this is what you guys are going to have to actively work at because it's like Neptune escapes. That's the whole thing. So when you're escaping in this particular area, you're escaping through the mind, you're escaping through the intellect. And it's like, you guys need that time to get creative. Like this is how you guys get your creative ideas. But you don't want to fall into the shadow where it's like, you're just doing this and you're escaping. And it's like, you're too much in your crown chakra where it's like, you've completely disconnected from the physical reality. So that's kind of the whole tricks of the trade with Neptunian energy. It's like the area that you have it in. Yes, it's going to be blurry or you might not see this area clearly. But if you learn to master that, you can basically take those psychic gifts, basically take whatever that particular house is for you guys as the third house and basically figure out a way to ground this beautiful energy into this physical plane, into this physical reality. And knowing this, this is why astrology is amazing, knowing that you guys could be prone to escaping, going into your minds, going again into this fantasy world. Well, once again, maybe figuring out ways to balance this in the sense where it's like you are applying these gifts because at the end of the day, the Neptunian energy in your natal chart in a way is a gift because it is the other side. And whenever I would research specifically artists and to see kind of like what were they doing to get their inspiration, this is what's going on. They are tapping into the other side. So it's a gift, right? But you want it to be in the light version. You want it to be in the divine version. You don't want it to go into the shadow once again, where it's like you're overthinking about things that maybe aren't even going to necessarily happen. Once again, going into that overthinking energy, that clouded energy, that blurry energy, where it's like you're too much in the crown. Even exercise could be very, very good actually for this placement because it connects you back into your body versus being out of body. That's the thing. Because if you're in your mind and you're in your crown chakra, whether you're using it in a psychic way or not, or whether you're aware that you're psychic or not, you're leaving your body. That's the whole thing to understand. You're not being present. You're leaving your body. You're going again in to this other world is really what that is and you basically want to use this in the most positive way because it's like neptune and the third house the visualization can be so strong that you guys can actually anchor it into the physical reality but the whole name of the game here is to pair action along with your ideas yes you can visualize things but at the same time there's certain rules that take place on this earth plane that we have to learn okay so you gotta learn to play the game so down here it's all about hard work it's all about perfecting something perfecting your craft and eventually you will get to the goal you're trying to get to but i will tell you guys energy if you guys pick one thing and you're constantly working at it, we'll eventually get to the goal that you guys are trying to get to. Even if you guys might feel like it's challenging or you guys might feel knocked down or you guys might feel discouraged or anything of the sort, yes, that can all take place, absolutely. But it's all about getting back up again and believing in your vision because I do truly believe that everyone is given a specific vision for a reason. If you see it, it's very likely that it can happen. But the missing link in a lot of these teachings is the work, is the action. So for you guys, when you have Neptune in a third house, you're going to have a lot of dreams, you're going to have a lot of visions you guys might be once again interested in the artistic world even the metaphysical world some of you guys might be interested in working as psychics or healers as well because you are connected to the other side your own intuition is always going to lead you to where you're trying to go that's the whole thing to understand so if you have this vision it's all about figuring out how can you get there and basically focusing on that end goal and honestly for neptune in the third house it's probably going to be very beneficial for you guys to create some sort of goals in the physical reality because again it'll help you guys ground versus being out of body the entire time in your imagination escaping only thinking about things and not actually doing them and even going once again into the shadow of the crown chakra which is overthinking paranoia and these type of things also one more thing actually that i do want to mention is because the third house does do with siblings this can also signify that there's something you guys don't see clearly around your siblings or you guys might struggle with communication when it comes to your siblings or your siblings can be very artistic themselves because of that neptune energy but there's always something going on here as well with siblings because of that third house so with all of that being said i'm going to wrap up this video here I do hope you guys enjoyed my video on Neptune in the third house. If you did, please do like, share, and subscribe, and I hope you all have a beautiful rest of the day.